Now, if you remember our pinu again, so we have the third pinu. We looked at the VT, the VI, or the Hana, of course, the Hamani and Heli. Now let's look at the third uh, types of pinu. There are really, as many have said, you know, this is really uh, the largest group of pinu. Um, and these are what we call the Aano or the VS. And again, the root word Aano, notice the word Aano there, yeah, what something might be like, its character, what it tastes like, what it feels like. And this is a huge class of, class of, of words that we use in Hawaiian. And so examples of course, things like Nani. Yeah. To be in a state of conditional being beautiful. Yeah. I might say something like um, Eha. To be in the state of condition of being in pain or something is sore or painful. Yeah. I might have another word, for example, like um, um, ma kau kau. To be prepared, to be ready, to be uh, in that particular condition, ma kau kau. Now, these are three words that are all VS or anu. That is part of a classification of words that we actually call again. Remember the word hopena that I was used earlier. So hopena are the other class of kinds of that we have that are not actions. So when you think about hopena, hopena are all these words that are not actions, basically. Yeah, and that, what I mean is verbs, yeah, as pines that they're not actions. Yeah. So if we look at the meaning of, for example, of the word nani, we realize nani means that something is beautiful. So if I say nani oi. Right? You are beautiful. Nani oi. You are in the conditional state of having beauty. I might say, eha koulima. Yeah. Your hand, koulima, is in the state of condition of being in pain or painful. Hurts. Eha koulima. Maybe ma kau kau. Yeah. Uh, ma kau kau. Um, kamiya ai. That the food, in fact, is ready. Not you're going to get the food ready, but it's in that conditional state of being ready. And that's why they're called hopena, that this is the end result of something. Now, obviously, I can say things like, she will become uh, beautiful. Yeah? But in the same sense, that is the end result, that in the end, beauty will be the result. Yeah? So it doesn't really matter in regards to the tenses of past, present, or future, or something was happening, is occurring, or will be occurring, a VS can be used in all tenses. That's the first thing, all tenses. Now, if you remember, you can also show what is also called the Ave, Akena, Aano. And this is a terminology which refers to the Ave, right? It's the Ave, but the word Akena represents the meaning of agent. The agent meaning someone is responsible, the agency for that condition, right? So if I think of you being beautiful, nani oi, what is the cause? And so this is how we have this idea of something is a so-called cause, sometimes called the causative. What causes is this anu. Now the good news of the causatives, that it's marked exactly like how we mark loka, marked with the e or marked with the ya. So in the same way, I can mark and showcase what caused that hopena, what caused that condition by marking that, that with an E or Ya. And so this is how we, we can um, so-called mark or express the cause of that condition. So for example, Nani Oi, if I want to explain, well, what caused your beauty? You know, maybe what, and in English, commonly you might see words like from, Due to, on account of, because of, um, with sometimes. And so these are words that express how something. So if you are beautiful, from what? Oh, maybe from Ika uh, Malamakino. Yeah, that Malamakino meaning to care for the body. And so maybe, um, you know, this person exercises every day perhaps and has healthy skin or what have you but this is the cause of what brings about this condition right so if you're nani oi you are beautiful from what and so in english you might say something like caring for your body 
made you beautiful or caring for your body is the cause of your beauty or it's from caring for your body that's why it results in you being beautiful so in actual english what he's saying is you are beautiful that you are beautiful because of caring for the body or from caring for the body due to caring for the body okay let's look at the second one eha eha to be in pain what is in pain your hands kolima maybe i want to express that your hand is in pain from what what is the cause of it what made your hand painful what is the causative yeah eha kolima i keahi yeah or you might think of it saying the fire is the cause of your hand being in pain yeah you might say something in english uh, for example the fire made your hand sore the fire is the cause of your hand being in pain uh really in hawaiian thinking what is saying of course is that your hand is in pain because of the fire from the fire on account of the fire and so forth and so when we think about hopena especially vs is we always kind of think of it that there generally is some kind of cause to that hopena also and what it, what it, what is focusing on is not that something perhaps was done purposeful obviously if we look at eha kolima ikiahi it wasn't that the fire purposely decided to go cause your hand to be in pain right that 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 is more that is probably by accident that this occurred that your hand is in pain from the fire because of the fire yeah. so when we think of the agency a lot of times it doesn't necessarily mean the agency was done purposeful in fact many times it's not done purposeful this is just a result of something that had occurred and the last one yeah ma kau kau to be ready to be prepared the food is prepared the food is ready how come maybe because of kiola that kiola is why is the cause is the reason why the food is prepared yeah uh you might say in english kiola made the food ready or the food in fact is ready from kiola because of kiola due to kiola yeah and again these are called the ave akena anu and of course these are all vss or what we call in hawaiian anu and so that, that's the first half of the kinds of words that we call of course hopena so let's take a look at the ei so the ei is also a hopena but the thing to remember about the this kind of hopena we call it in the ei is to recognize that this is actually a combination of sounds that come up with this classification of so called verb usages the first thing to remember about this hopena is that its root word still comes from a vt it comes from a verb transitive it is an action at its core base but the action will be transformed into what in english would be called a passive usage of the words so let's look at an action right let's take a word like i again yeah i as a vt you eat yeah i might say i i o kimo i kamo right eat kimo and what is he going to eat that's your lauka you're going to eat the chicken kamo right that is the lauka the moa is the lauka kimo is the agent is the performer of the action what is the action the vt that's a to e so this is a regular verb trans now to make this into a ei what happens in english is that what we talk about not who is performing the action but who is the receiver of the action what is the focus trans into what becomes a passive voice and so what happens with i and you can take a word like i to e i will add this word ia there and what ia does it transforms the word i to eat to be now to be eaten to have been eaten and to give something as a result for pena what happened or oh, the food was eaten what was eaten the chicken was eaten i ia kamo so you notice the two big differences here the first one the vt kimo is performing the action in the second one here what's called in english a passive sentence or in hawaiian it's called a uh opena is that now that chicken the chicken has been what eaten it's in the condition of being eaten right you look at only get bones left what happened to the chicken has been eaten 
I can express the eaten by whom by using that A. And that's why you quickly can figure out why we call this an EI, because it's a combination of E and the A. And really what's happening is that you're taking what was a verb, let me kind of change this here, an action verb, I'm gonna take this action verb here, and I'm gonna transform this action verb into a hopena. And that's really what's happening here. So I'm gonna take the action to eat and transform that into the result, which is that something has been eaten. And we can think of many English words, yeah? To prepare, to be prepared. To see, to be seen. To kick, to have been kicked. To watch, to be watched. Yeah, so again, you can see that's, that's uh, what we call the hopena, it's a result. Now, I can show who is the uh, receiver, so-called, of this uh, action, being kamoa. But if I wanted to show by whom in English, in fact, this is kind of a great way to kind of remember what this A really means, it is by whom. Like who is responsible for it? Of course, we would know it was because of so-called chemo. So chemo was the uh, agent. And so that's why we call in the EI, we call this Ave an Ave Akena EI. It's an agent for the so-called EI. So when you hear the terminology, Ave Akena EI, what it is again, it's an Ave, right? A, this is Ave. It has an agent, that's chemo, that, that is marking the agency for this action. In other words, what happened? The chicken was eaten, and then the question of by whom? By chemo. So anytime in English, when you hear that kind of idea, like by whom, by which person, that's probably an EI, yeah? For example, the money was stolen by the teacher. <laughs> that by the teacher, I see, that, that by many times should kind of give you a good idea that it's perhaps a so-called EI sentence. That's a good kind of indication because in that English form, it's already expressing itself as a, um, a result. Open. Okay. So when you think of an EI word, and you think of EI, these are words that it's a classification of being a result, there are hopena, but its root word is coming from a VT, ends here, that will be transformed by adding ia. Yeah, so we can take, let me just use an example here. Yeah? I can take the word ike, which is to see. Yeah, ike val, I see, right? Ike val, I see. But if I add an ia here and I say ike ia val, it's not that I see, but in fact that I am seen yeah so if you think about it yeah let me just try example again right so if i this means i see i see something there's a loka yeah, i see there's something i'm looking at there's some kind of loka that's an action vt but when i add the ear in front it's not that i see but in fact i am Seen. I am seen. Yeah. Again, not I see something, but I have been seen, perhaps. But I can express the by who with the it. I was seen by the doctor, okay, Kauka, for example. So anyway, that's the Hopena and Alohandu.